Hello and welcome to HollowNet News. Today we will be breaking down the short story Equipment by Matthew Stover. Before we get into the video, please remember to like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Also, feel free to comment down below as any feedback is appreciated. Specifically, I'd like some video ideas as we want the channel to be driven by the viewers. I have plenty of material available, but stuff from you guys comes first. Now let's get into the video. The following content does contain information based off the legends of Star Wars, specifically during the Clone Wars era. Matthew Stover is the author of five Star Wars novels, including the novelization of Episode Six: Revenge of the Sith. He wrote the novel Shatterpoint, a gritty look into the life of Jedi Master Mace Windu as he travels to Heron Cal to retrieve his wayward apprentice, Depa Balapa. Now here's where this short story fits in. Equipment is based off of the first-person perspective of Clone Trooper CT-6-774, or 74. It tells the story of the clone's motto, Take care of the equipment, and the equipment will take care of you. 7-4 was a gunner in a Republic LAATI gunship, and was deployed along with a sizable task force to extract General Windu from the planet. LAATIs, or LARDIs, specialized in dropping or extracting troops from hot combat zones. In 7-4's words, this one would be Nova class. Before the clone forces even made it to the surface, they were attacked by no less than 128 droid starfighters. The clone gunners, who were experienced warriors and very, very good at their jobs, opened fire. Lardies were not made for dogfights, but 7-4 and his counterpart, CT-014-783, or 83, did their best and 7-4 accounted for several kills. However, the clones were overpowered and many of the gunships were destroyed, as were the assault landers destroyed, deployed with the task force. 7-4's bubble turret was blown off the gunship, leaving him floating in space. Although the clones were seemingly defeated, they continued to fight the battle droids. Jetpack troopers would fly into the paths of oncoming vulture droids, which would destroy both of them. Finally, Windu was extracted from the planet, although the clones sustained heavy casualties. As the extraction forces retreated, they were tailed by the remaining droid fighters who, who threatened to destroy 7-4's gunship. His turret still had charge, and he used his final shot to destroy the tailing CIS vulture droid. This story is yet another epic tale of valor of an individual who would receive no award or recognition for his actions, only the satisfaction of saving his brother's lives. Sadly, 7-4's comrade, 8-3, was not so lucky and was killed in the fighting. The clone soldiers who had ejected from the destroyed gunships and landers were, were retrieved a few days later, as the clones were equipment too, and the Republic took care of them as such. I really enjoyed the story and found the moral take care of the equipment and the equipment will take care of you very interesting. A note that I would make is that although it may sound cold to call the clones equipment, 7-4 meant it as an honor, based off his care for his gear. The story is concise and to the point, a reason why I love short stories, and wraps up nicely. Equipment can be found as an ebook or attached to the paperback version of Shatterpoint, also by Matthew Stover. Thank you very much for watching everyone, have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.